All right, man, Twitter Talk. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How y'all doing out there? How y'all doing? I'm sorry I cut the kids off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I got to bring the kids back. No, no, no. I'm okay. I'm sorry, kids. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for cutting y'all off at the end. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so today's episode, WAC 100, um, I believe he got word or... Kendrick has respond to Lil Wayne saying that he, you know, uh, he will destroy and y'all going to be really fascinated by what Kendrick has said. And this is crazy. It's going to get crazy. I'm telling y'all. So look, before I get into that, you know, I got to get my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work on your subscription today. This is the 8 a.m. show. All the beautiful, single, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is in the description. Cash app, no more PayPal. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 13,000 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate everybody. The king of the north. Let me know what kingdom you from. You know what I'm saying? Let me know the kingdom you from. Whether it's the kingdom of Cincinnati, the kingdom of Indianapolis. Let me know what the kingdom you from. Either if it's out the country, kingdom of Antigua, wherever. Let me know. So we're going to get into this, man. This is a good one. You know what I'm saying? Love y'all for being here with me, 8 a.m. show. You know the 12 o'clock show coming up and the 6 o'clock show. I don't know what's been going on with YouTube, but I've been releasing episodes and they've been coming out a little bit later, little, like uh, minutes later or something like that. I don't know what's going on, but they coming, so don't worry. I got some more episodes actually coming. Uh, it would be last night, so I got some more episodes coming. So, Well, actually, y'all would have seen it already, so let me just shut up. All right, let's get it. All right, so let's get it, man. We in here. You know what it is. <laughs> what you talk? Many, uh, I can't be the first to say that it can't be done by me. Uh, I don't know how to battle rap. I don't know how to, that's what if you, for instance, you don't see me diss. I don't diss people. I don't really know how to do that. I don't know how to battle rap. Talk about what you got on. I don't know how to do that. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Dancer, man. Y'all about to hear the message Kendrick sent to Lil Wayne, especially. Drake and anybody else in that camp who is listening. We're going to break it down. Let's get to the content, y'all. Uh-oh. I see it coming. What's going on? I heard the whole crew was crying like a new baby on the internet. I just gave you the appetizer and it's already tricking your boss out of care to stop all the cap and let's get down to business. That's from K. Damn. <laughs> he said I only gave y'all an appetizer I only gave y'all appetizer which means he got a whole bunch of coming now I only gave y'all appetizer I didn't even give y'all the, the full thing you know what I'm saying like I ain't even I ain't even go crazy on y'all yet just to let you know but tell your boss stop it what? Oh man, we gotta run this back. Let's go. Gave you the appetizer, and it's already tricking your ball. Hold on. I heard the whole crew is crying like a new baby on the internet. I just gave you the appetizer, and it's already tricking your boss out of care to stop all the cap and let's get down to business. That's from Kendrick. Wow. Yo, stop all the cap, but let's get down to business. Uh, let, let's go. Like, I don't want to talk. Let's go. Yo, listen, man. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can say whatever. Kendrick Lamar is the reason why rap music is great. I'm telling y'all right now. We could, we could, we could uh, uh, talk about anybody in this game. We could bring up anybody in this game. It does not matter. The reason why we are engaged, why we excited, why we want to hear, why we want to listen, why everybody's so focused is because of Kendrick Lamar. Let's be clear here. 
it's because of Kendrick. All this other stuff that everybody else is talking about, I don't even want to hear it because they ain't doing nothing. They ain't doing nothing. He's making rap exciting. He's making hip hop exciting. Whether it's through him uh, uh, battling or whether it's through him just calling out people or, whether, or, or him just basically doing great music. Either way, I want to listen, bro. All this, all this y'all be talking, I'm not trying to hear that. If you ain't making great music, then don't talk. Just shut up. This dude right here is going crazy. He's doing things. He's trying things. He's trying to be the focal point or the centerpiece of hip hop. And right now he is. He's the centerpiece. I got all these albums that I got. And I only listen to GNX. I haven't listened to nothing else. Nothing else. I got all these other albums. I listen to them. But this one, I'm stuck on this one. I constantly got it on repeat. It's crazy. And if this is just an appetizer, oh, man, we in, y'all in trouble. Y'all in trouble. Mar. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Oh. Said, tricking your boss out of character. Stop all the cap and let's get down to business. That's from Kendrick Lamar. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Oh. Said, two hours, I heard the whole crew was crying like a new baby on the internet. I just gave you the appetizer and it's already tricking your boss out of character. Stop all the cap and let's get down to business. Uh oh, hold up. An appetizer? Uh, oh, no, I That's, knew that. No, I knew that. That's it. Coming. I so what, the album he's nigga? saying was an appetizer? So what are you about to come with? No, he to drop a about, single and a month later. Or just album. what he did to Drake. Oh, he is talking about Lil Wayne. Oh, my God. He got Lil Wayne. He talking about Lil Wayne. No, your boss. You're right. He's talking about Lil Wayne. They got all the pictures. No, I no. I don't want him to be. Night. I'm telling you. <laughs> Yo, she like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Like, like, we ain't gonna get it, boy. I'm telling y'all, look, man. I keep telling y'all. Stop playing with that boy, Kendrick, man. Stop playing, bro. I gotta listen. I got a 12 o'clock video gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. I just wanna let y'all know that. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. But it's gonna be very interesting. I've, I got this video that I'm gonna be talking, this guy's talking about Kendrick and, and a lot of things I wanna debunk. So it's gonna be a very interesting video. But... This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what we need. This is what we need. Now, I ain't talking about violence. I ain't talking about uh, uh, all types of uh, beef. I'm saying we need, this is how you get good music. This is how you get good music. Kendrick Lamar is, is, is on pace to make these niggas make great music. That's what we need. We need great music. All this other stuff that people are talking about, I'm not trying to hear that. We need some good music. You know what I'm saying? And that GNX album is great. That's great music right there. That's what we need. We need more of that. Or better than that. Which is going to be pretty hard because that's pretty fire. Right real, now. You know, real beat. Kendrick, right, right yeah. now. Kendrick then got up and said, it. he didn't put some. He put a Chuck Taylor on the right foot, a Nike Cortez oh on the God, left foot. No. It's on. And nigga, I'm poking at anything that wanna see move. Wayne yeah. wasn't about to entertain that. So now that that's said, do you think he's gonna hope. he's definitely gonna I would hope to... he don't because Kendrick is in that mode. Wayne I don't believe Wayne is in that mode. Wayne nice. Bro, we're talking about his battle rap he night. He said he's not a battle rapper. That's the thing. That's see here's the thing y'all gotta understand, right? A lot of people don't understand rap. I'm be honest with you. A lot of people don't understand how 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 uh people work right you could tell the level of penmanship on someone versus uh somebody that really is just using metaphors and similes right so i'll give you an example right lupe fiasco is a phenomenal rapper when i tell you his pen is out of control like his pen is great he even is battle tested right because he can battle but see, it's a big difference than Lupe versus Lil Wayne. Now, with Lil Wayne, he has battled, you could say, some of the bars he's saying, be saying, I'll do this to you and 
like I'm like this and I'm like that. That can actually be battle. That could that you could say that that's that can fall into the category of you being a battle rapper. Now here's where Kendrick Lamar is different from Lupe and he's different from Lil Wayne. Kendrick Lamar is a artist. He's not just a rapper. He can complete things. He can do things with words that usually people don't know how to do. Like there's another rapper like that. It's Ransom, right? Kendrick Lamar can give you a phrase, maybe like two, three words. And that phrase of two, three words can mean 10 different things, right? And it's not him just being, it's not him using just double entendres or whatever. It's just him being straight to the point. But at the same time, he can move around with those, with those, uh, with that one point. A lot of rappers can't do that. And they very surface level. Rappers are just, and I believe Lil Wayne, he has hot bars, but he's surface level. He doesn't have things that can go 10 layers deep under that bar. You get what I'm saying? Kendrick has that. He has a 10 layer bar uh, uh, capacity, I should say. A lot of these people don't have that. So it's very difficult to battle Kendrick because it's two things that he usually, that he usually, or three, but mostly two, that he, he's very capable of outdoing anybody. One is creativity. He's very creative. And when you battle somebody like that's very creative, it's very difficult to know what they're going to do because they will match your level. Trust and believe. Kendrick Lamar can match anybody's level. He can match Lupe's lyrical pen. Like, I don't know why people don't think that that's capable, but Kendrick Lamar definitely can match Lupe's pen. He just, he's just, he's more broad. You know what I'm saying? But if he sat down and said, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll do that for the next album. He could do that because he's an artist and that's what artists do. Lil Wayne can't do what Kendrick does. Now, I want all of y'all probably saying, well, Lil Wayne did that before, but that was it. That was the young Kendrick where he was inspired by Wayne. See, now this is Kendrick now is where everybody's going to get inspired by him. Because to be honest with y'all, a lot of them still ain't even reached to Pimp a Butterfly, let alone Good Kid Mad City. They didn't even get to that point. Any, all these rappers haven't even got to that point yet. To me, they didn't even get past that. And that was 2015. So if we're talking about battling Kendrick Lamar versus versus Lil Wayne, the first song would be good from Lil Wayne. Kendrick Lamar will go so hard on Wayne, it'd be it'd be ridiculous. I'm talking like it's not really much you can say about Kendrick, but there's so much you could say. So much you could say about Lil Wayne. And this will come down to whether Kendrick is going to have a friendly fade with him or if he's going to treat him like he did Drake. Now, he did give Drake the grace, but Drake messed that up, so. That is lame. It can't be done by many. Uh, I can't be the first to say that it can't be done by me. Uh, I don't know how to battle rap. I don't know how to, that's what if you, for instance, you don't see me diss, I don't diss people. I don't really know how to do that. I don't know how to battle rap. Talk about what you got on. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, yeah I'm trying. I'm trying to think of that. That definitely song, goes hard, but on some battle it, rap, we ain't history. taking nothing from Wayne. Right. And his lyricism, and he's a rock star. I mean, you know, we all. But Kendrick is Kendrick is he and. He own one right now. That yeah. nigga, yeah. Right that nigga Wayne was on some six monster. foot, seven foot. You can bring that to a that's disc. That's a song, though. That's a song. I know that's a song. That's all I'm about to say. Work. You can bring six foot, seven foot. You could bring a uh, 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 skull face. You can bring any one of his raps where he was going crazy. You can, you can bring all that. It's not going to make a difference. Because Kendrick can match that same energy, bro. I don't understand. I don't think y'all understand how good Kendrick Lamar is. I think a lot of y'all just think that a lot of us out here just be Kendrick Glazers, or we just be like we like Kendrick so much and he couldn't do no wrong and all this stuff. I really don't think that y'all understand how good Kendrick Lamar is. 
compared to other rappers. I think that y'all think he's just a rapper. That's not the case. I don't understand why people don't see this. Kendrick Lamar is not just a rapper. I want y'all to understand this. He is more than a rapper. He's like he's like a he's like a prince type slash type Mike that actually used the rap component. He's he is an icon when it comes to making songs. I don't understand. Y'all heard reincarnated, right? You hear you hear that type of lyricism. You hear the level of writing that is most rappers can never reach that level. They can never reach that level. Some of them, some of them can, but most of them can't. This is what I'm trying to explain to y'all. And a lot of y'all, y'all don't understand how good Kendrick is. And I know y'all probably say, oh, you sound like, no, no, I'm being dead serious. Y'all really don't know how good the boy is. Y'all take what he does for granted. A lot of y'all just think that, oh, it's just Kendrick. But you ask these other MCs, they be like, oh, that that's very difficult to do. I couldn't do that. Ask these other MCs how good he is. Ask them. Some of them, some rappers don't never want to tell you how good you are because they don't want to seem like they rowdy, you know what I'm saying? But a good portion of them will say, but that boy talking about some six foot, seven foot, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. None of that's going to work, man. None of that's going to work. What song does no, that nigga have distance besides that freestyle with you? Know, I don't do think he, he, he does it. He, he, don't re, he don't really do that, though. He, he don't that do that. Do that. That's what I'm saying. Right now, yeah, man. Man. If he did like that, he said it. He like, might do like most rappers do with the subliminal, but he don't go and Then I'm going to be real, song. man. You dealing with it. Like, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Kendrick is like. He kind of squeaky clean. What you gonna talk about? Especially yeah. that ain't already been talked about. Like yeah. nigga rap, Come like on nigga now. Not a yeah, you you can't talk him. about yeah, nothing. Yeah, you gotta just this out nigga don't wear designer yeah, clothes. Tight, He's still with his <laughs> high school uh, sweetheart. His <laughs> whole city behind him. The neighborhood he grew up in is behind him. He's not a gangbanger. Like what? What the? F you gonna? What the? F is you gonna talk about? That's exactly what I'm saying. It's really nothing you can say. You have to rap. And rapping with him is very difficult. It's very difficult. Because I'm, I could be, I could almost guarantee Kendrick got records for everybody. He's got records or he's working on something. And he doesn't, he, at this point, Kendrick Lamar is not friends with nobody. And I think he won it that way. He is public enemy number one inside of the hip hop team when it comes to rappers. They, they, a lot of people, it's so crazy how this dynamic plays out, right? A lot of people don't work with Drake and Kendrick Lamar don't want to work with a lot of people. <laughs> you see how crazy that is? Like, and I, and I guess that's by design. I guess that's by design, but I just see, I don't really see Lil Wayne even making it through the first round, I just think that at this point, it's very, it's very, very difficult to combat somebody like Kendrick right now. He, he's always been on fire, but you have to understand he's in battle mode right now. See, all the other albums, he was in album mode and he was in 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 uh, creative mode. Now he's using that same energy, creative energy, to get you out of here, and a lot of people ain't gonna be able to take that. They're not going to be able to take it. I'll be honest with you. They're not going to be able to take it. And no, then if he eat up two people from that side, it's going to be yeah, crazy. Yeah, he'll, like... he'll, he'll be that. He'll be the <laughs> ghost. Like, he get cash I mean, money. Cash money. I'll like, what? Up. I wouldn't even give him action at getting that title. Just Hell no. Nah, like, just on the strength that you might take a L. Break <laughs> down, Wayne. So if I was lazy, I'd just, I'd just drop a song. I'd get the head start on See, but, this, but see, this is know. why you ain't going to get the head start. Dude already got about three of them done already. Mm -hmm. This ain't finna be no Vibe magazine back in the day. You hit, he hit. And hey, nigga, now That's you got to hit back. Gotta I'm gonna be a hundred though. Yeah, you exactly what I just said. That's exactly what I'm saying. This is not gonna be you drop a song and then we wait and know. I can almost guarantee you, he got all them joints lined up on his, on his YouTube waiting. He got all them joints lined up. He already got the system already. He got them all lined up. I'm telling y'all now, Kendrick Lamar does not have a life. He just stays in the studio. And you think that you dudes are out here 
chasing women, doing all this other stuff. You think y'all think that y'all actually is the boy unfazed, man. I'm telling y'all, Kendrick is unfazed. And that boy is in the studio cooking up, cooking, doing whatever he write. He he probably is. His brain is on overload. He got so much material. I remember when he said, they asked him how much material he, he had a hard drive. He said he lost thousands of songs. Thousands. Now, now we, we could say that that's, we don't know if that's real, but I want y'all to understand something. When you do music for a living, I can 100% agree that he lost thousands of songs. Because when I was doing beats and I was doing raps, I used to sit in my apartment and I used to do music from eight in the morning to 12 midnight, go to bed. I'll go to work. I'll get up. I'll go to work right after work. I get off at, at four. I get home at four 30 all the way, excuse me, all the way until all the way until like five in the morning. Cause I had to be to work at nine. So I'll go and I'll go to sleep at five. I'll wake up like seven, get dressed, go to work and do the same thing. I one year, I swear to you, I made over 10,000 beats because I didn't have a girl. And all I was doing was just making music all day in my house. That's it. Trying different things and all. So if I was doing that and I and I wasn't getting paid for it, I can imagine Kendrick Lamar got all the money in the world. He got his life set. He got his children. He got his, he got his, he don't have nothing to strive for when it comes to his family. Outside of that, only thing he got to do is focus on being the best rapper of all time. You think he ain't doing that? Man, listen, bro. I never heard Lil Wayne diss, but if that nigga can diss as good as he rap, oh, oh no, he rap his off. Ain't nobody. But here goes the thing. What you talking about? Wayne writes his own raps. He already said, I don't know how to write talking about it. Right. See, it would take some people to come in, and then that changes the dynamics of Wayne. So it was like, you know, I, I just can't even get it. had to come up in that type of environment already. So with the battle, you, know, yeah. you like can't just that. walk into You can't just walk into it and just. Now, there's one thing I will say, and um, we're going to end this real soon. Um, There's one thing I will say. Anybody can battle rap. You could defend yourself with words. You could battle rap. Lil Wayne might be really good at it. Battling somebody like Kendrick, he would have to come up with something that's very, very good. And he would the first time because he would come up with something. Sparring is not, it's not easy, but it's not hard either if you are a great lyricist. Lil Wayne, I would say he's, I would say Lil Wayne, if I had to give, if I had to say, what what I rate him as a lyricist, I'll probably give him a B plus. Yeah, you know I'm saying I'll give him a B plus. He has some hard lines, but he also has a lot of dud lines too. I ain't gonna say here a lot of y'all. So I'll give him about a B plus. Um, Kendrick, I'm giving I'm giving about a I'm giving about a straight, maybe maybe an A, uh, uh, maybe an A, a A, hands down. Not an A plus, not an A minus, a solid A. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing about Kendrick. I give I give him an A, but there was times when I gave him an A plus plus. And it's very rare I give rappers that. It's a couple of rappers that I gave that to. Beast from the East by Cannabis, that's an A plus plus. Royster 5-9, bar exam three. But uh, gun harmonizing, I think, it, no, that's that's a uh, street hop. That's an A plus. Eminem, uh, uh, I am what I say I am. That's an A plus. Kendrick got about maybe four of them joints though. A plus. Wayne probably got a he probably got one solid A somewhere, but I don't have him at any A pluses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Yeah, let's play a little bit more. Let's get it. Know how to do that. Wayne built for fire, but he ain't built to breathe it. Like Listen, I really don't. You never know. I really don't want to see it. Because it's not going to well for Wayne. It's going to tarnish his legacy. Hold on, hold on. Oh my God. Stop over it. Talking. And another thing, too, that I think a lot of people don't understand when, I, when it comes to rap, 
a lot of people they like I said they go off of bars and and uh they don't go off of cadence and believability. See the difference between Lil Wayne, he coming at Kendrick. If anybody that battle Kendrick, it's going to be very difficult for you because you have to be believable in what you're saying. You have to be believable. You have to make people believe that this guy is 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 this person that's doing something. You got to believe that. The problem is when he retaliates. Now when he says what he's going to say to you, it's going to be very difficult for you to get around. Very difficult. Because he could throw it right back. He's very good at throwing stuff right back at you that you said. Ain't no uh, 20v1. This is a 1v20. If I got to slap niggas that right with you. Yeah, I bring, bring them out too. Tell Beans to stay right with you. Am I battling a ghost or AI? Like, <laughs> like he threw it right back at you, so. And now it's fast. Trust and believe. So. But, uh. Yeah, we're going to play a little bit. Matter of fact, you know what? We're going to end it there. They ain't, they ain't really talking about that. <sighs> yeah, man. Y'all just got to understand what y'all dealing with out here. Kendrick Lamar is a beast. And if he told Lil Wayne, listen, let's get to business. Like, all this other stuff, he basically saying, like, look, I know what Daylight said. Daylight said ain't nobody going to respond. Like I said, you can't take what Daylight say for Kendrick. Kendrick's going to do his own thing. But I think at this point, Kendrick Lamar, like, I ain't trying to talk to none of y'all. If you want to battle, bro, let's go. Like, all this all this extra stuff you talking, let's go. I'm not trying to hear it. And I feel him on that, man. I feel him on that. And I think a lot of rappers need to stop being so politically correct. Like, I think he's changing the rules. And he's doing things that a lot of rappers, you know, should have been did. They should have been did this. But either way, man. Thanks y'all for watching. Thanks, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, 12 o'clock show will be coming up. Thanks everybody for all the donations. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all the support, man. It changed my life. I swear to y'all. This is it's, this is an a, amazing experience. Being here with y'all every morning, every afternoon, every evening. You know what I'm saying? Really amazing experience. So, love y'all, man. Y'all have a uh, have a great morning and i'll see y'all this afternoon